More than 500 children are in foster care in Guilford County alone. This can happen for a number of reasons, including allegations of child abuse. But experts say foster care is one of the last options for these children. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake walks us through the decision-making process by DSS. Department of Social Services says there's a rise in cases where children are being abused and ending up in foster homes. Just this week, we learned more about a Greensboro case where a man is accused of killing his three month old son two years ago. Back in 2012, he was also convicted of abusing another son who has since been adopted. DSS says something needs to change. There has to be stiffer penalties. A call for improvement. There's always room to improve with legislation. As more children are put in foster care, Department of Social Services says when they first receive allegations of child abuse, the case goes through a screening process, which can lead to an investigation. If we find that the allegations are true, we will ask the families to identify a temporary safety provider. If they're un unable to identify a safety provider, then we possibly look at filing a petition for foster care. We learned this week Sterling Cummings, the dad accused of killing his infant son in 2021, also had another child put into foster care after a child abuse arrest in 2012. That child survived and was eventually adopted by a couple. But that's not always the case. According to Children's Home Society, there's been a 23% decline in foster homes from 2021 to 2022. There are only so many of us <laughs> who um, have kind of taken that calling and um, gone through the process and there are only so many children we can each take at one time. Current foster parents say the need never stops. They're running out of space. There, there's nowhere to put these children um, in a time where they're in crisis and they really just need a warm, inviting space. We, we're running out of warm, inviting spaces. Reporting in Greensboro, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2.